Welcome to the video. Welcome to the video analysis channel. Today we're going to learn how to blur out an area in our video. We're going to mask her out and everything else will be blurred. You can blur backgrounds. So what we're going to do, we're going to highlight this clip. We're going to jump over into our color page. And I'm going to Looks like I can get everything. Them poles are what I was concerned about. I want to be able to get both of those poles. We're going to click on our magic mask. So this is being done in the studio version using the magic mask. If you wanted to, you could roboscope things out. That's just way too much work for me. Too much work! We're going to make sure that our mask overlay is turned on. And we're simply going to click a couple points here to get her masked out. It's looking not too bad. I'm going to zoom in here and get these poles. It looks pretty good down here yet. We'll get this one over here. Oh, I think we're looking pretty good. I think we've got everything masked out. So now what we want to do, we have it all masked out. Z on your keyboard will zoom back into fit. So now we're going to come here to this icon and track backwards and forwards. We're going to click on that. It'll take a second. And we're done tracking. So now what we're going to do, we're going to come over here in this area. We're going to hit Alt-S on our keyboard to bring up another node. We're going to come up to our effects panel here. And we're going to search for defocus, defocus background. Use your search feature here and search for defocus. And we're going to drag that onto the node we just made. I'm going to turn the overlay off for a minute. And nothing's really happened yet. We need to connect this blue box to this blue input. And now you can see it's slightly bur blurred, excuse me, the background. We can come here to our mask blur and adjust that. We can come here to our effects and this will really blur things out. We have it blurred out all the way. We can change the saturation. We can make everything else black and white. We can colorize the area that we've masked out. Right now it's set to blue. If you had a scene where you wanted it to be a sunnier day, for instance, you could choose this orange color. And then on colorize, we can crank that up and you get a warmer tone. We can come down here to advanced options. We have anamorphism. I didn't even know that was a word. That's not a word. We're going to crank up this blur a little more. This would dis distort it even more. You can see. So that's what that does. Highlights, of course. Take care of your highlights. The global blend setting. What that does. Every change that you've made in all of these settings... This is kind of like a master control. It changes them all at one time. You can invert the mask, which I don't suggest doing. Mask preview. And that way you can kind of see better what you've got masked out. Your edges and stuff. The contrast. We can jump over into our edit tab. I'll blur this first a little more, so, whoops, not this one, this one. We'll blur that a little more. We'll jump over into the Edit tab, and now you can see that 
everything has been blurred out. Pretty simple as always. That's all I got for you in this video. Please like and subscribe. We'll see you in the next video.